Um, you know, nobody denies the fact that we're in a crisis, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, doesn't matter. We are in a crisis, and there's no doubt about it. And it's been my experience in my lifetime that when you're in a crisis, you don't throw up your hands and blame everybody else. You take the opportunity to make the changes that you can make without devastating the programs that we have put in place over the years, without hurting other human beings. We do have to look at the way state government is doing business, and we can't keep doing it in the same way. There are departments like Corrections, like DCF, that have enormous budgets, enormous. And there are ways in those departments where we can operate more efficiently. It's true that we have agencies that have lots of deputy commissioners. It's true that we have agencies where there will be savings. And those are the places that we have to look at first. Everybody, it is no secret, it is no profound discovery. Everybody realizes that not only this state is in a crisis, but every state in this country. And we will start operating differently. There is no doubt about it. A crisis brings us opportunities that we haven't had before or haven't had to do before. And none of us up there are going to be willing to continue business as usual. So I'm hoping that the programs that we have in place, like <clears throat> home care for the elderly, like doing outpatient services for those who need rehabilitation, that the programs we have in place for kids, our Husky program, our Charter Oak program. Time's up, Edith. Thank you. <laughs> we will continue those because the people of the state need them. Thank you.